Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reacts video here today, continuing our reactions to the first Walking Dead. Well, I mean, the first new post Walking Dead spin-off with members of the Walking Dead. I guess is the best phrasing of that because fear does exist. Um, <laughs> uh, Walking Dead, Dead City. Uh, God, where do we leave off last time? Maggie and Negan are in Manhattan. Pursley. Pearly, Pearly is uh, still in Manhattan too. He was captured by the Kraut and Maggie and Negan have met up with some new friends and they want to take down the Kraut and they want to retrieve Herschel and it's all going on and Manhattan has a lot more zip wires than I thought it would. Um, <laughs> it's kind of the main thing I've took away from it so far, <laughs> but without further ado, I'm just about ready to jump right into things. So let's continue on with The Walking Dead. Dead City, episode three. People are a resource. You need help? How am I supposed to know if you ain't yelling for it? All I have been doing is trying to find a safe place for you. I turned my back for a half a second and that's when you skedaddle? Oh, <laughs> little flashback so we can see Dad Negan mode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just try been trying to find somewhere safer. And I mean, to his credit, he finally did found it with um, the Hilltop people through Maggie, even if it will cost him his life, he knows, potentially having to go to Manhattan. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can see how much he cares for her, Try, trying his best to keep her safe, even with her mutism at this point. Can you at least tell me what the hell you're doing out here? You lost your dino. God damn it. Drop it, huh? Okay, we will just re-goddamn trace our goddamn footsteps. Oh. <laughs> Am I met not? Uh, how do you expect me to not say "ah" oh, when Big Bad Negan is over here with this little girl saying, "Okay, we're gonna retrace our footsteps to find your 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 your, your you know <laughs> dinosaur plushie." <laughs> how am I not meant to love this guy? Come on! Can't even get in, begin to get into how bad an idea this is. Oh no, <laughs> she's going over to Manhattan. Oh no. Now, oh, the Croat already has Maggie's child, and now the Croat, I'm going to assume, is about to have Negan's child as well. And then, classic Negan's going to be making quite a full time return, I'd assume, for that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> They're trying to do it Lord is the ear out. And the dude's just looking over there like, the hell, what the hell's that? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> just very confused. What do you got there? It's beeswax. Hey, that's good for cuts. Can I bum a little bit? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough then, I guess. <laughs> you know, I, I thought we were pals now, big guy, but I suppose not. Got the deer at least, you know. Nice juicy one we need we need meat. I'm shocked there are still deer here years later in a zombie infected Manhattan, but I'm grateful right now. <laughs> Kid, when it all went down, it spread so fast. Bodies coming up from the ground. The army got here. We were dumb enough to think that they'd come to save us, and we watched them blow up the bridges. Oh god, can you imagine that? You're only a teenager, terrified enough of all that going on. You know, the undead roam in the street, rising from the ground, attacking you and everyone you know and love and watching it all unfold. The army show up, you think you're safe for like a moment. You allow yourself that moment of hope that it's going to be okay. And then instead, they just blow up all your possible means of escape and trap you there. That is terrifying. Only one of us ever got out alive. And that wasn't anything but luck. Get the hell in. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's all right. Tougher she looks, and she looks tough as shit. Yeah. Maggie hearing that, obviously not doing too... <laughs> helping us, like, in any way. Hearing only one person ever got out of the Croat's grip, and that was just by luck, you know. Not exactly what she wants to be hearing with the little Herschel trap there, you know. <laughs> I want to get to the Croat. Just got to get through that. It's been bringing fleshies in from all over the city. Parade's looking a little rough this year. How do we get inside the arena? We don't. A Thanksgiving turkey float. <laughs> Roaming around the city and drawing all the undead into one place. That is... 
They cry out really working overtime here in this planning, isn't he? Tell us how you got out. Hold back to Deja Vu. Fella down south. A lot like this guy. Forced people to join. If they didn't, hammer came down. People got together to take that hammer back. What happened? It worked. It did. <laughs> oh, that's fair from Negan relating, yeah, his very own personal, very personal experience. <laughs> you know, how he took over, like the cry it's done here, but you know, putting out that there is hope. I mean, he got overthrown. The crow back can over be overthrown as well. You know, don't have to give up, guys. Welcome! Most welcoming place, is it? <laughs> you know, the crowd, but very happy welcome. It doesn't look very happy in this underground car park with a bodies in, like, I want to say fish tanks by the look of it. Watching them put a dead body in one right here to display. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not just it's not the most friendly welcoming environment, is he? You know. <laughs> Offer me food or medicine. All I had to do was start talking. I knew the second I talked, I'd be axed. So the door kept opening. But let's just say there was no more food or medicine. Yep, man, it's scarred up. Went through a lot of stuff there, as you'd expect under the crow hat. Obviously making Maggie even more worried about Herschel, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Tomasi was smart. He knew he was offering food and medicine for information, but once he gave him the information that he had nothing less to give, the crowd would just be like <laughs> him. So, and he got out in the end. So, very clever man. <laughs> How far are the cells? It's close. After your disappearing act, he would have moved folks off site. How do you know? It's what he would have done. He and the Croat know each other. He knows how he thinks. <laughs> the side eyes they're giving Negan right now. <laughs> you know. You could look down as a down. Okay, let's he's here with us now. You know, you're probably a bit worried he might turn you over, but let's look at it as a positive. You got a guy who knows the cry how the cry thinks, getting his head. That, that's useful. That's useful. So they buddies did. Were took a shot out of his ear off. He can bait him, and we get him to tell me where my son is, and we kill him. You said he shot his ear off. So how's he gonna bait him? Payback. Eye for an eye, dick for an ear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, big guy. But let's, let's face it. <laughs> how's he gonna bait him? I don't think he's gonna bait him. You know, he talks of a friendly reunion picnic. He's gonna bait him with, "Come on, mate, I shot your ear off. Come and kill me." <laughs> and knowing the Croat, he's a man insane enough for that to work. You know. <laughs> Y'all are gonna get us killed. And for what? So that I can get my son. Your son is already dead. I think you know that. All right, you know what? Let's take five. Good call from Negan. Good call from Negan. <laughs> he could tell that was very quickly going sideways. Okay, that guy tells Maggie that Herschel's already dead. And she knows he's already dead. And Negan knows the only way this conversation continues and ends is, if we're honest, Maggie beating this guy up, which doesn't help anyone. So let's just take a break, guys. Chilly in here, isn't it? Fairly very confused. He's captured, taken prisoner, brought here. He sees all that in the entranceway. They handcuff him up here. And then the maitre d' brings out dinner and wine, and they start playing a lovely record. <laughs> and he comes in, and he starts making small talk. <laughs> and Pearlie's just like, what is going on here? <laughs> it isn't magic. Science! That was my profession. When I first arrived, most abundant natural resource. Death. Produce methane gas pressurized into a liquid fuel. Oh, damn. <laughs> the crow had got brains on him, huh? <laughs> damn. He, 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 he just created an, an, an energy network for this island. Or well, for him, at least, to use on this island. And damn, he's got the lights, he's got the heater, the music's going. And they could cook food. I mean, you, you can't argue with the man. You can't. I would not eat that meat. I don't know what that meat is. <laughs> I know we magically still have deer here somehow, but I still would not trust him. I can't offer you refuge until you no longer pose a threat. Why would you serve me rotten meat? Actually, it was her. Uh, uh, oh. oh God, I don't. I don't think I'm about. I'm gonna like what I'm about to see. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> quite not very happy. Um, served rotten meat here. Rotting meat. Uh, the key thing for me there was though. He said, "Why would you serve it?" And then this guy was saying, "It wasn't me. It was." And then he was interrupted. But so who was it? Is someone else around here, around the Croat, trying to kill him? Potentially. Potentially.
saw that coming, honestly. The second that guy stood near the bars at the edge of the railing, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's getting shoved off it. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I probably should have anticipated the head smashed in first. But, um, yeah, the second you stood there, mate, you were always going over there, pearly, just watching on like, this guy's insane. <laughs> Oh, Maggie. Looking over the few family pictures and memento she has. Drawing of Glenn. Um, I'm assuming by Herschel. Because he was doing those... Uh, uh, what's the... I want to say coal. You know, drawings and sketches last time out. So I'm assuming that's from by him. You know, and Maggie just sad. <laughs> You're looking at her dead husband. Knowing that, you know, drawn by her son who she can't protect right now. And it was taken from a... She, Maggie's going through it. I found this in one of those tourist shops. Remember, Herschel used to wear one like it. Thought maybe you could give it to him when you see him. Your plan is going to work. If you want to talk about it, I do occasionally know how to shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh, Negan. He's trying to be nice and helpful, you know. Trying to get Maggie to think positively. You know, we, it will work. You will get Herschel back. You can give him this cap. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's just really nice of him. <laughs> Maggie won't do it because she does not trust this man as far as she could throw him. And I honestly think she could throw him pretty far. But <laughs> it's, it's really nice. When the Croat showed up at her gate, told her to get in the root cellar and grabbed a shovel and a brick like that was going to do anything. I thought he was stupid. He told me to get off his damn back for once. And that is the last thing that we said to each other. Yeah, well, it's not like having trouble to get a think and overthink every last word you've said to him. And I mean, that's just normal kind of mother teenage son stuff are you obviously she's gonna be replaying that in her mind until she can find him you know the last conversation she had with him was them arguing and him telling her to get off his back and calling him stupid you know him saying it she thinks she's he's stupid and it's painful painful for maggie and he decided to go into town we're looking for him and rob me she begged me not to i found him i don't think i even wanted to kill him but i'm on a wagon train to missouri i stayed to think about them every day oh Negan, yeah. I think somebody loves and cares about goes through that, and then you know, even he said he didn't even know if he wanted to kill him, but it's just his instinct, honestly, at this point, you know, to, to protect and to hurt anyone who gets in the way of somebody's protecting or somebody loves, and you know, sending them away in the end from him because you know, maybe to punish himself because he thinks he deserves punishing, maybe because. He knows he can't stop that instinct of fighting and doing whatever it takes to protect someone he loves. And so he sends them away because if they're there, he'll know he'll do more bad things. And he doesn't want to do bad things. A lot. There's a lot of play there. But oh, Negan. I hope to God they are okay. I don't know, Maggie. I mean, what else do we have besides hope? I thought you knew how to shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love a little heart to heart bonding moment between Maggie and Negan. But then Maggie catches us over the head like, Am I bonding with Negan right here? And Negan's to throw something in at the end there. With the I thought you know how to shut up. You two. You're gonna let him stay at the hilltop, Maggie. Don't play with me, girl. Can't keep doing this. I've been looking for this freaking dinosaur all day. Oh no! <laughs> I noticed it the second she dropped it. Not the dinosaur. She loves that dinosaur. Now it's probably a comfort thing, but also you know, it makes her think probably of her dad, and also partially of Negan. You know, her other dad. <laughs> you know, it's a kind of through it. I mean, yeah, this place is not for you. You should not have come here. You have to speak. I call out for you, call back. Are you listening to me? Back in the day, see some state doctor. Not the case anymore. Skip all the coping shit. Straight to the staying alive shit. Yeah, Negan is right. <laughs> you know, present day, uh, non-dead world. Um, she, she would go see a therapist. <laughs> it work for her like that. But yeah, Negan just looking out for her, wanting to be safe. Wanting her to speak. Just so that he can know she's safe and if she's in trouble, she can call for him, you know? I think she, she's definitely got to speak, hasn't she? By the end of this, she's got to speak. And I do feel like her dad words are either going to be Negan or dad towards Negan. She's got to speak, though. Do you hear me? 
You know what the problem is? We don't have any leads. Oh. Stranger walks along, kills zombie, takes Ginny's dino. Intriguing. <laughs> Negan shouting at her, um, but then seeing she's sad and immediately <laughs> changing course and trying to comfort her and saying, we'll find it, don't worry about that. Oh, he's such a dad. <laughs> he's such a dad. <laughs> Okay, um, how am I interpreting this? I'm interpreting them as them presenting and then putting down something representing someone they loved. Like some ass putting down the, um, the necklace, you know? That's, that's how I'm interpreting this. I could be wrong. <laughs> that's how I'm interpreting it. The crowd's moving like a politician. <laughs> getting the crowd chants going. I don't know what they were chanting. It sounded like they were chanting Golasso, Golasso. I'm sure they weren't chanting Golasso. Unless he's really opened the arena and he's got the, he's got the soccer going again. <laughs> he's a big fan. They call it football over there in Croatia. Celebrate our fallen brother. Not more. Because death is no end. It is our fuel. Because people are a resource. <laughs> That is such CEO talk from the crowd. I give it to him. <laughs> People are a resource. Yeah. Yeah, we're a resource. We're a resource, baby. You know? <laughs> it looks like he's got an octagon behind him, but they are opening the fight pits. <laughs> it's very dead rising, actually, I feel. <laughs> opening up the fight pits. Maggie nearly putting the picture of Glenn on the table as well, yeah. Um, and, instead, she's just hold on to it. She's not fully there yet, but she's getting there. She's opening up to these guys. You can see it. Last chance, my friend. <laughs> what sport is this? <laughs> I guess it's less of a sport. A more of a style of execution, i.e. hanging and the chair, you know. We get them in the fight pit. We get them high on helium, or whatever that was. That was the, whatever it was. Uh, stuff you have for surgery. Um, we chain them up to a stripper pole inside of the octagon, and then we send the zombies in. <laughs> it's certainly a very, um, you know, intricate form of execution. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, he's the, he's the sheriff or whatever. He can handle himself. The sheriff wasn't his name. It's like magistrate or something. Um, but yeah, he was he was practically just using that the zombies like a bull. You know, a Doro, Doro sending a pass, kicking his ass, and then choke him out and rip his head off. He's going to take a lot more than that to take down Burley Croat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that at first. But uh, yeah, the zombie was the guy the crowd threw off the balcony earlier after he made Swallow the jail key. And so, yeah, the key was in his stomach, so after Pearly killed him, he could cut him open and pour through his insides to find the key. <laughs> it's practically a saw trap. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Pearly taking his shoe off to use as a baton. God, he's clever. <laughs> clever guy. This is not his first rodeo, okay? <laughs> he was ready to go. And it's smart, because then even if they, like, bited it, it's it's just your shoe. <laughs> so, you know, and they, how much damage can they do? Because it's made, like, of rubber and stuff, you know? Very smart. I don't know how you keep it together with your kid and all. Amaya says having a kid in the city wouldn't be safe. She's probably right. Yeah, she's right. It isn't safe. You have to make it safe somehow. Yeah. Um, Maggie, very correct. I mean, to answer your first question, Maggie is not keeping it together, okay? she's She's got the facade of it, but this, this, this girlie is falling apart. <laughs> and yeah, it wasn't safe when Maggie had her, sure, but like, that's what you're fighting for. 
you fighting to get rid of the Croat and to make this a safer place for you to have a baby and to live your life and to go on with your life, you know? That's what all this is for, Tomas. Oh, shit. Scrounge up anything good? Always good. Where'd you get that? Street. I know a little girl who likes stuff like that, that's all. Take it. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I mean, if Negan needs motivation, <laughs> you can show him that. Maggie immediately recognised it from knowing um, Jenny for, like, a day. Negan sees that. <laughs> He is going to lose his mind. We're going to get as positive. Hopefully Jenny followed her. And so Jenny will be here. Um, he will also lose his mind at that. But <laughs> I was expecting her to take out the bag. And he's going to see her lose his absolute moral force. But oh boy. Right, family, that's our shop. Went to look for food. When I got back, my wife let me know that it's a nice one. Let me come on me. I took the straw. I don't even think of killing myself. By the time that would have occurred to me. Found the man. Become my new family. God. <laughs> So that's what uh, Negan was talking about. He said when the crack, when the kraut came to him, he'd gone through the worst stuff imaginable. And yeah, coming home to find your wife and your three children all dead like that. <laughs> that is pretty traumatic. <laughs> and then he found Negan. <laughs> and I don't know if that helped, honestly. <laughs> it really doesn't feel like it did. Makes me wonder what it did you are protecting in that boot. <laughs> I'm too weak, can't do it by myself. Please help me. I want to come home. Stop! Yeah. Pearlie's probably read that letter a hundred times himself. He doesn't need the audiobook version from the Croat, does he? Yeah. I mean, the Croat was right. He obviously, he went for the other boot for a reason. Because he was hiding this. He didn't want it to actually like, spill out or whatever. Whilst he was beating the life out of zombies. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, yeah. Pearlie couldn't get here in time. And then his brother didn't make it. Sadly, I say he blames himself enough without getting all this from the crowd now as well. <laughs> I had two partners, but they're dead. We came to bring a wanted man home. Who is worth following here? His name is Negan. Oh, the crowd's face! <laughs> Barely finally telling him what he wants to know. And the crowd's face there. He probably, yeah, uh, he's like, okay, I won't kill you yet, Sheriff, because. If Negan's here, <laughs> and that's a man I want to find as well. <laughs> I know you're not the president of my fan club. We are on the same side, and this plan is going to work. The two of you are leaving tonight. You got the wrong idea about me. Oh, boy. <laughs> he found a wanted post. Yeah. He didn't trust Negan enough already. Uh, well, all the stuff he found out about Negan from Maggie and Negan. And then this wanted poster... Yeah, definitely not the president of the Negan fan club. <laughs> um, telling Negan and Maggie both to leave now. This guy just wants to keep his people safe, but I think Maggie and Negan are both right. That to ever be safe, you have to get rid of the crowd, and for that, you need them as well. So, you know, I understand where he's coming from, though. Do not approach unless armed. Anti-social, pro to extreme violence, above average intelligence and charisma. Do not trust him. <laughs> They put above average charisma on there. <laughs> like they're listing down his DND character stats. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. He's a very charismatic man. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just a very funny thing to put on a wanted poster. <laughs> I have people depending on me. So respectfully, I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to try this one more time. And I really hope this doesn't turn into something it doesn't need to. Oh, it's turning into something it doesn't need to. Oh, <laughs> the tension. <laughs> Uh, the tension between these two guys been there since they first met, but my god, the tension right now. This is one of the rare moments where the tension is oddly not sexual. It is just hatred. <laughs> okay. What the? <laughs> oh my god, that was quicker than I thought, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Negan would have saucepan start, fair. Luther, huge guy though, just goes for a bear hug, literally choke the life out of Negan. He cheese graters his head. The pain. And then, I mean, Negan didn't really do anything. Luther just fell backwards in pain and landed on a pipe. And, you know, this isn't going to help Negan. <laughs> I'm a good guy thing. When he goes back and says, Luther, where is he? <laughs> Urgh, about Luther. <laughs> I don't think the people are really going to buy he came for me first, you know?
Negan finishing the job. Um, <laughs> the, to positive spin on it, it was to stop him being a zombie. There you go. <laughs> just making sure, let's just push your head down a bit more, really get to the brain there. And now he can't be a zombie, so you know, it's, it's a win, really. Zombie Lou for coming after you would be dangerous as hell. You didn't by chance check your bag. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on to it for me. Good. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Negan is using resources and applying bandages to on, on her on her stuffed dinosaur <laughs> because he's got a cut and it's fluffs coming out and you don't want me to give him a dad of the year mug i can't i don't know what you want from me okay there's only so much i can do <laughs> when he is being dad of the year here all right that was a whistle that my wife used we can get out of bed we do that whistle i came running can you do that that was amazing you do that i will be there Oh, he's going to hear that whistle, isn't he? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Negan accepting that, you know what? She can't talk right now. That's okay. Let's find a different way to communicate in case you're in danger. Going with the whistle, his wife did. I love him. <laughs> and once again, that TikTok meme about Negan. <laughs> you know, look at this cute guy. What about what about all the murders? What murder? <laughs> like, look at him. Look at him being a good dad. Come on. <laughs> Deal? Talk is cheap anyway, kid. It doesn't matter what people say. Hey. It only matters what they do. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Her hugging him, you know, she lost her dad. She felt so alone and she found Negan and he's made her feel so safe and loved and oh. And he's right, you know, words are cheap. But actions is what matters. And Negan's actions for this girl, for Jenny, have been, you know. Oh, you could see Maggie thinking over what she was about to do. You know, you, you could see her thought process behind it whilst Jenny's watching. Maggie was thinking, right, I know that this dinosaur is Jenny's. And if Jenny's dinosaur's here, that means Jenny's here. And if Negan finds that out, then he's going to abandon the plan completely and rush off trying to find her. And Maggie's like, I can't have him do that. So I have to burn this dinosaur so he never finds out Jenny's here. Uh, so we don't risk him finding out at least. And then we do go ahead with the plan. You know, even if that kills Jenny or whatever. Then at the end, you could see her just thinking it through, you know, thinking it over, thinking about the talk she had with Negan earlier, you know, thinking what would she do if this was her child in this situation, in, in this, well, it is her child, but, you know, in, in those shoes. Will she burn it? I don't know. Maybe. It's a possibility. I'm excited to see. <laughs> That's next time. What a beautiful ending, man. I love Negan. I love Negan, especially Dad of the Year, Negan going on here. Um, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed this show. I know it's had somewhat mixed reviews, um, but I've really enjoyed it so far. And I can't wait to see where it goes. But that is it for today. My hair is kind of a mess. That's the heat. It's so hot here. Um, <laughs> that is it for today, though. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts, as always, in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you think of the show. Are you enjoying it? I hope you are. I hope you're enjoying my reactions to it. <laughs> if you are... Please do leave a like and subscribe for more. We've got three episodes left, halfway through the season. You're not going to want to miss them because Negan is heading towards a confrontation with the Kraut. And oh my god, I, I'm imagining fireworks there. So you're not going to want to miss that. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.